I can just tell he's super pissed, yo. Because uh, I told him to wait for a Didis and uh, give it to him. But this is gonna be an just interesting trek down. Yeah, like he, it was a sack of potatoes. Like, where am I gonna carry that thing? I think it's super heavy. Uh, I can't. I'm not gonna take that risk. I mean, I have to freaking focus on driving. I don't have, I don't have uh, the luxury and uh, the time and effort to focus on something else. This is super fun. Super fun. But I, I wish I had a proper dirt bike, man, or a dual sport, man. I would rip these streets up in a half, man. I would straight rip these streets. This is Tabi, yeah, Tabi. Super fun, man. It's a Friday afternoon. Uh, man, you know, uh, I knew I was gonna make this trek down alone, and I, I, was, I was thinking to myself while I was up there, like, what am I gonna talk about? Well, you know, what am I gonna discuss with my subscribers? I know, I guess at this point, by the time you're watching this video, it's probably my channel's actually come really a long way, and in, in terms of the Yemen series and the, the videos for here from Yemen, just super, super duper epic, man. Even though there are a lot of things that have occurred that I'm, I'm not allowed to discuss, or let's just say I'm not gonna risk discussing until I'm in America, basically. And a lot of things, a lot of things uh, occurred uh, that I don't want to talk about necessarily right now, but just know that. Um, so bump. Dang, I can never, never, never tell when these bumps are coming. But just know that um, Yemen, it hasn't been all... How can I say this? Yemen hasn't been... Not everything went to plan as of late, as of recently. And... And... Um, who was it to blame? Uh, really, there, really, there's only like one incident where one incident, and along with the assassinations and the suicide bombings that have occurred, that kind of ruined uh, it for me in terms of uh, more and more opportunities for me to go out and record. Um, there were a lot of days where I just sat at home and did nothing. It's very easy to develop a perception that. You know, I just crank out these videos and all you see is me having fun. But the guys, there are there are and were days that were very, very scary. Like real life, like I'm about to quit my channel and stop making videos scary because I was at the wrong place at the wrong time during one particular incident. And something that I never thought in my entire life happened, happened. And uh, when I'm safe, when I feel the time is right, I'll discuss it and I'll talk about it. In the meantime, uh, this is epic, yo. Like, I, I, I'm so, so fortunate and so blessed to experience uh, this country on two wheels. And it's a memory and experience that I will never, ever forget in my entire life because something like this is just 
is just amazing and I'm super super stoked and super happy that um regardless of regardless of even though there were a lot of things that didn't go according to plan I'm still super stoked about what I have so far and what I've captured on two wheels and the experiences that I've gone through it's something honestly guys a lot of you may be thinking all right I'll give you the perfect example um when I used to, um, I still watch Baron Von Grummel, but when he did the whole Euro trailer and toured Europe on his, uh, on his Jixer, or I believe, you know, I was thinking, I remember watching that video a year ago and I'm thinking to myself, man, I would never, ever, or even Royal Jordanian, I know he has a couple uh, videos or whatever where he toured Europe and went through, through countries and through cities and through towns and foreign lands and... I remember watching these guys and I'm thinking to myself, I would never, I'm never ever going to be able to do that. It's funny because when you see something on a computer screen or a monitor or a TV and you see someone else do it, you think to yourself, there's no way in, uh, there's no way in, there's no way that I'm going to be able to have an opportunity to, to experience what they're experiencing or to do what they do, what they're doing. And to think that I'm here and I'm doing it is like, it's like un it's kind of it's kind of unplanned planned and unplanned sort of um, wow you know uh, I, I know what they feel like I, it's 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 that feeling when you first ride a motorcycle and there's there's that fear that you of you falling that fear of you getting into a car crash that fear of like well this is kind of an unnatural feeling but at the same time it's fun and then you go about it you go about it even more and you get you know, your motorcycling, motorcycling career. Oh, okay, I almost fell. In your motorcycling career, and you experience uh, that same feeling of riding a motorcycle, but on a higher level, such as being in between cars and getting to close calls. Uh, you gotta, you learn over time to just. What I learned over time in, in riding overseas is that that fear it's still there and you still get a scary feeling but it's a, the way you the way you adapt to it and the way you handle it is what makes the difference so okay I'm in Yemen there are incidents that occurred before this that gave me a lot of signs that I, I shouldn't do what I'm doing right now but at the same time I, I am I, I, I guess you can say I, I embrace that fear and I just said, not not the hell with it, but that's the kind. That's the only way I could possibly explain to you guys uh, what I'm feeling right now. Yes, I'm fear. I'm fearful for my life, and there's a lot of things that occur that I don't want to discuss. But at the same time, I'm I'm happy. I just I'm just I went with it, yo. Like screw it. Like this is life. It is what it is. I'm not gonna let an incident that occurred or uh, a few words from a certain individual dictate how I'm going to live these two months that I'm going to spend here in Yemen. The rest is on me. If I get into a serious, serious life and death situation, that's on me. At least I had the peace of mind that, you know, at the end of the day, it was my decision not to do something. <coughs> Excuse me. It wasn't, oh, so and so said you shouldn't do this because so and so said that this area is really dangerous, or so and so said, you know, like, screw that. I'm gonna come out here, scout the area, do what I think, uh, use my best judgment, and go about it uh, anyway. And I've decided to still do what I'm doing to this day, and that's. Moto vlogging in Yemen, man. Uh, it's just uh, I'm extremely, extremely blessed and fortunate to to do something like this, man. Uh, even though, man, I'm so lost for words. Like uh, I'm just riding, and I'm trying to ramble, and I'm trying to figure out what to say to you guys. But there's no words to describe uh, this feeling right now. I mean, look at this view going down these mountains, and it's just an amazing, and amazing. It's amazing, man, and. If you get this opportunity, 
you know, don't let it pass you by, guys. If, if you get an opportunity to go to a foreign land and a different culture, different language, different society, conservative, liberal, whatever it may be, man, hop on two wheels, man, and experience, experience it, man, because it's, it's so much fun, so, so, so much fun. And there's a lot of things rattling on this bike, man. Uh, even though this bike is brand new, man, I feel like there's something wrong with it, kind of. But let me get my hair out of my eyes. But yeah, guys, this is uh, uh I, I, like my future self. I don't know what my future self will do, but my future self kind of tells me that this guy, man, there's always jerks that want to like drive right, like right freaking next to you. My future self will tell me that, man. Um, I'm gonna be uploading these videos with no storyline. Usually I have like a storyline. Usually I have something to talk about when I go out and ride and have like, and then would have like planned out and edited. Something tells me, man, I'm, my future self is gonna just be uploading this stuff with no intro, no outro, and just letting you, hearing you, just hearing me out because. Because um, there comes to a point, there comes a point, man, where you just, you just lost words, man. You don't even know what to say. Look at that. Look at that view right there, guys. Amazing, amazing. We'll stop for like one or two seconds and show you guys the view. Um, but in actuality, you guys have already seen a lot of what I'm showing you now in, the different, in different videos. That's why I'm not really stopping in certain areas. Depends how I feel. I'm just trying to get home at this point, man. This bike, this front wheel is rattling, yo. That front wheel is sketchy. See, it's because I'm an idiot going through bumps like that, man. I should be dodging these things, but every time I notice them, it'd be too late. But anyways, what I wanted to say, another thing, like, another thing is, like, this bike is, even though it's brand new and I got it brand new, and my, uncle, I, my uncle got it brand new and I'm riding and breaking this thing in, it's like it's brand new, but there's still lots of... This is sketchy, man. It just feels sketchy, dude. Like, everything feels sketchy, man. And I know I'm gonna look back and think to myself, like, life a lot, what were you thinking? Sketchy bike, you know, locals can't drive, dodging potholes like I am now. Like, what were you thinking? Like, I don't know, but at the same time, in this current moment in time, I'm just like, whatever, man, this, this it feels good. <laughs> Here's the video where I did with uh, my cousin Adam. I'm gonna stand up here and show you guys this view. Look at that! Look at that, guys! Amazing! Uh, not everyone stands on motorcycles. I guess uh, I guess gotta stare. Look at that view! Look at that! The sun shining through or whatever. The sun shining down like the reams of through the clouds or whatever. Epic, man! The locals here are so blessed, man. They they got it so good. They don't even know. And uh, let me. And uh, you know, to them, it's it's normal, yo. But for me, it's like holy, that's amazing. I'll stand up more and more and show you guys the the, the view. Mm, this is so epic, yo. Going down these mountain roads and stuff. slow down here holy moly yo, this is so scary yo look at these guys i almost fell there i almost i almost fell i went right inside dirt but luckily i grabbed my front my, my my back brake i slowed down using utilizing engine brake and it's so sketchy coming down these hills because there's so many potholes you gotta come watch out for incoming traffic coming up the hill and and themselves are dodging potholes like i almost ran into that car right there talking to you guys and heart stopping moments for sure but I guess it is what it is guys man look at this 
you know who I feel like? I feel like the, uh, my, one of my fellow Aus Austrian uh, subscribers that I'm subscribed to as well. Uh, he be doing this all day, every day in Austria, man, with his little Honda CB. And, oh, almost freaking fell there. Ah, oh, man, I gotta take it easy, man. I, I, I have been, it's been a month and like 15 days, a month and 10, 11 days, 12 days or so. And I've been accident free here in Yemen. Thank God, yo. Thank God I've been accident free. And uh, sometimes when you're accident free, you know what that does? It kind of builds up. Uh, confidence um, it kind of builds up a confidence uh, on you and it's like a, it has like a, a little bit a tiny bit of cockiness too that will get you in trouble uh, real quick so I gotta slow down here because look at this dirt and stuff and this taxi luckily it's Friday and we're not Luckily it's Friday and we don't have that much traffic. There's two more cars coming. Look at that. Look at that decreasing radius turn. <laughs> Crazy. <clears throat> Gotta make these wide turns and watch out for incoming traffic. this hill on second gear sketchy as I don't know what man but you know at the same time it's 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 super 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 great for me because I keep every time I look my visor up there's gonna be a whistle for you guys I don't want you guys to hear that it's super great experience for me because I feel as if uh, this 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 experience that I'm gaining now is super awesome guy wants to go I just I didn't I didn't want to be hanging around them locals uh, and them in them in front of me man who knows if they what they have in their possession Yeah, look at this view. Look at this view, guys, real quick. Wow, look real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Look at that. Epic, 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 epic. I would stop there, but there's uh, there's a woman there. Look at that. Let me stand up real quick. Look at that view. Look at that. Look at it, guys. Amazing. Thank God there was no incoming traffic. I was going way too fast for my own good there. Backfire. Go around this. Ah, look at that view. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. It's a, it's right now. It's the um, uh, mid afternoon prayer. And if you guys hear that, you might guys might be able to hear the call to prayer. But since I'm a traveler, I prayed um, the mid afternoon prayer already. 